So why'd your last relationship end? That's your opener? I thought we were supposed to hide how fucked up we are on our first dates. Well, let's rip off the band-aid. How fucked up are you? <laughs> okay, sure. Let's do that. Um, we... Well, we wanted different things. What kind of things? She wanted to get married to a guy named George. That's rough. How long were you together? Nine years. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah, I know. I spent a decade with someone who was never really gonna be with me. And I had hoped that that would change. You know, I really hoped. But now it feels like I woke up from a coma and I have no fucking idea what's going on. You know, that reminds me of this amazing video I was watching earlier about this woman in her 60s who was coming out as bisexual and she was married to a man for most of her adult life. It's, it's so inspiring, I'll, I'll send it to you. And she said the exact same thing you just did. That she feels as though she just woke up from a coma. But in a good way. And in my experience, if you're able to sustain a relationship for as long as you have, it says a lot about you. In a good way. So what about you? What happened to your last relationship? Um, well, the last straw. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous and, and funny. Um, was when I cut her hair. As in you gave her a bad haircut? As in I cut a piece, a small piece, when she was sleeping. She woke up and got really mad, but I was having some doubts about different aspects of our relationship, and I read about this ritual that could give us the answers. Do you know anything about Wicca? No. Have you ever seen Buffy, the craft, Pocus Pocus? That kind of thing. Uh, it's a hobby, like gardening. I thought people thought of it more as a religion. I thought you didn't know anything about it. You sure that's what she said? Yes. Maybe if she asked first. Yeah, it's still weird. Is it too unrealistic of an expectation for me to want to meet a nice, sweet girl and hit it off with her without her occasionally revealing that she cuts people's hair in their fucking sleep? I blame the giraffe. Yes. What? Your profile picture with the giraffe. No, if anything, it shows that I'm cultured. I've been out of the country, I love animals. I think it's sweet and endearing. Yeah, no, dude, it doesn't work. What about the one from Costa Rica? One of your mom, no, dude. That's fair. Hey, speaking of, uh, I'm grabbing lunch with her in a bit. You want a free meal? No, I have to masturbate in two hours. A taxi! Why would you tell me that? Mom. Mom. Mom, do you want coffee? You know, I, I never got to live in an apartment in the city. You're so lucky. <laughs> you and Dad should move to the city. That would be super fun. Mom, you've been acting really strange ever since you got here. It's freaking me out a little bit. What's up? I, um... I... I'm not hosting Christmas this year. I just spent the last 45 minutes thinking you were terminally ill or something. What the fuck, Mom? Also, it's... April, why are you even thinking about Christmas? 
I just thought you should hear it from me. So why are you not hosting Christmas? Your dad and I, we've separated. Around Grant's birthday, I've been staying at a hostel nearby. I don't know if I'm more shocked that you're separated or that you just used the word hostel. Are you upset? No, no. Um, I'm, I'm shocked. It's not my business, you know, you and dad do your thing. But what happened? And you seemed happy. No, come on. Look, I don't, I don't want you staying at a hostel. I mean, that's where like teenage murderers live. <laughs> just, why don't you just stay here with me and Dee, okay? Uh, I don't remember us exchanging addresses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I know things got a little weird, and I just mm -hmm. wanted to talk in person. You haven't been answering my texts. Yeah. Um, so, this is really yeah. awkward. Oh my god, Val! Oh, can I get a selfie with you? Your coming out video is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Do you know you have over five million views? What? You are going viral. <gasps> People are so inspired by your courage, myself included. Val. Yes, she's correct. I came out. I'm bisexual. Oh, it's like watching the video for the first time again. <laughs> How do you two know each other? 